Hello, it's Tuki again, and today we're back with just drawing some crystals, which is always fun to draw. They're just nice and relaxing as usual. That's what I like to do is to relax when drawing. So these are soothing. Um, so to start off with, I'm just sketching out some shapes to get the crystals started. Um, so I'm going to do three on the page there. I'm doing one big clump all together on the left hand side there and a big fat crystal and a long skinny icicle crystal on the very very end there. Okay, and I'm just going around and putting the outlines on for these. At first I tried to freehand it and then was like, these are mostly made up of straight lines, I can, might as well just use the line tool. So we're going in here and just popping on the outline all around the very outside. So it's just rough shapes for crystals, they're not... I'm not making perfect ones, I'm just making like little rough ones. There we go. And I'm just cleaning up these edges just to make them not look quite so robotic. There we go. And then after I've done the outside, it's just a case of going in the inside with some smaller lines there and just spider webbing them in. So everywhere there's a little jagged edge on the outside, I tend to join that up to a tiny little line going inwards. There we go. And then when you've got these lines all down later, it makes them a lot easier to shade because you can see where you can be popping your shade down. There we go. So just working all the way around it there. There we go. And we're nearly done with that big one there. So we're just onto the chunky one again. Yeah, I love drawing glowing things. So I'll be doing these it's glowing crystals as well. So you can't just have crystals that just do the normal things. There we go. So it's just all spider web of lines all inside there. Just like dot the dot. What is it? Dot to dots. Yep, there we are. And now we're just going on to basing them with some colours. So I'm doing one big blue one, an orange one and a pinky purple one on the end there. And we're just going through now and popping some shade on all three. So I just pop that on to begin with and then start carving into it with some shadows. And then start erasing little bits out here and there. So anywhere that I think the light will hit, on the left hand side there or any like um, surface that seems to be facing to that left hand side I'm completely erasing that out to get it as bright as I can then anything that seems to be on the very opposite side I'm doing the complete opposite and just covering that in shadow there we are we're working our way into the orange one now Yeah, they're really fun for like fantasy things or parts of staffs or just little accessories or even little bits of jewellery like necklaces and things. And now we're going with some deeper shadows and just shading all around the bottom there. So I'll sort out the line art colour a little bit later on as well. Uh, I've made them really, really dark here so I could just see what I was up to, so I tinker with that at the very end. I probably shouldn't have coloured the orange one orange while I was shading it because it's a complete pain in the bum to see shading on such a neon orange while you're working. It's not so bad when it's dark like that, but at the beginning I can remember looking at it and I think, this is hurting my eyes, I probably shouldn't have done this. I think I like the blue crystals the most, they're like ice. Oh, and now we're just putting all the highlights on. So anything again that seems to be facing the left hand side, I'm trying to like cake that in the light. Because this is a particularly sparkly crystal I think. Oh, 
So it's a little bit sloppy because I was just doing it for practice. So it's quite rough and ready here and there. And we're highlighting that in a beautiful shade of garish yellow. like the um, pink one, the like narrow one. It's like a crystal wand. If it was a bit longer it'd look like a wand or something. Okay and now I'm just going in and trying to pick out the really really bright sparkly bits. Mm, I can't quite decide where the light seems to be going on these bits. I'm just making it sparkly as hell. we go. Right, and we're on to the orange one. Ooh, that one was quick. That orange one actually looks like, um, what are those ones for Pokemon that you make the Pokemon evolve with, like, fire stones and things? <laughs> looks like that kind of shape, like a chunky fat crystal. And we're starting to make them glow now. And some sparkles too. Super sparkly. Pop some colour on those sparkles. There we are. And we're just tinkering now with the lines just to make them a little less strong. And then just to show what we can get up to I start tinkering with the colours here. Why just have a blue crystal when you can have it 20 different colours? There we go, so thank you again for sitting through this and I hope to see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe. Cheers! Bye bye!